What is perfect linear phase? This question comes from Philip in Rome, Italy. There's a lot of cats in Rome, Italy. <laughs> I've been there in the Colosseum. There's cats everywhere. Um, recent marketing of some horn-loaded loudspeakers, the Meyer Blue Horn, okay, has focused on their so-called perfectly linear phase response. What in the heck does that mean? And is linearity a requirement for great fidelity? Well, it's a nice requirement. It's uh, pretty rare to find it in a speaker. Um, so let's, let's talk about, you know, what, what is that? Did, here's my blue one. Okay, I like the blue one. So um, phase is, what's a good way to describe? Here's, here's a sine wave, okay? And um, there's our zero crossing point. Now, when we look at this here, from here to here, this is frequency, right? So uh, the, the higher the frequency, the more of these sine waves that we can get in to this uh, x-axis, right? Now this is amplitude. So here's, you know, nothing's happening here, and here the, the sine wave's loud, and here the sine wave's loud, and so you have this amplitude and frequency. Got it? Okay. Now, phase has, if we were to change the phase angle of this, the amplitude and the frequency would remain the same, but it would look a little different. And it would look, and I am terrible at this, I don't get all wigged out. Um, okay, so it's it's kind of shifted, it, 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 its starting point is the same, uh, its zero crossing point, if I draw it correctly, it's, it's more like that, okay. Uh, so all of it's the same, it's just shifted. So this is, you know, phased this way, it could have been phased the other way. You can see what's happening, it's shifting in time just a little bit. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, here's your thing. So m maybe it's shifted like that as opposed to that. Okay, so it's shifted slightly. And if we get enough shift, then we call it out of phase. So here we are in phase. So we're starting like a, a positive waveform goes up, comes back down. Out of phase would be the exact opposite. Okay, if we didn't have that. And that would be 180 degrees out of phase. So as this one is going up, this one's going down. And if you combine those two, you wind up with zero. Because as one's going up, the other's going down. One pulls, one sucks. Eh, there you go, right? So, but slightly out of phase. So now, what, to, back to the original question, what does it mean to have perfectly linear phase? Perfectly linear phase means that for a given frequency, so now let's draw a, a chart, let's say, uh, how am I best gonna show this? Well, if you start here at 20 hertz, and you go all the way over here to 20 kilohertz, right? Uh, and, and along here, you have um, a flat line, which no speaker has. I mean, speakers all kind of go like that. Amplitude, right? They're all, so let's draw it more like what a, because that's what an amplifier would look like. An amplifier has, is linear in terms of frequency versus amplitude. So for each frequency, how loud is it? Well, an amplifier is gonna be virtual straight line that's maybe a hundredth of a dB, a tenth of a dB. A speaker, on the other hand, looks more like this. It, it's, it, you're lucky to get a speaker with two or three dB of flat frequency response. And what we would look at, if we were to draw this out at any one point in time, this would be represented by these sine waves, right? So linear phase means that at any point along this line, the phase is the same as what was supposed to be coming in. 
and what's coming out. And in a speaker, that's really hard to do because when you have uh, uh, amplitude shifts, it usually, and, and it points of the, you know, the crossover. So here we have, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden it, 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 your, your woofer is going to fall off. And then you're going to pick up there uh, if you have a three-way. And then, so uh, you're going to have something like that where this is the woofer. Amplitude falls off with frequency. Now the mid-range picks up and starts going, and this is where the, this is the crossover point, right? Well, these crossover points are almost always going to have uh, phase problems because as we start rolling off, the phase begins to shift. And at one point, it converts all the way over to 180 degrees. So uh, basically, without getting too crazy here, that's what it means to have whatever is coming in from the amplifier to be produced exactly in phase at any one frequency and any volume level along the whole thing. And there are very few devices, especially speakers, that do that. So I would question those claims, especially around the point of the crossover. So, okay, hope that helps. I'll talk to you later.